Hi, and welcome to Little Hatchlings Art Lessons. Today, we're going to be drawing a golden retriever. And we are doing this drawing in memory of our dog that passed away just over a year ago. He was an awesome dog. He was fast and smart and just so sweet, and we miss him a lot. So this drawing is dedicated to him. Okay, so we're gonna draw a golden retriever, just like a portrait of him looking up. And um, so to start it, let's start with the nose. Ooh. Okay, so you kind of do like a flat top, round it down, and then diagonal line over. And then a little line down here, then bring it up. Okay, so the distance that the snout goes in is about the same as the size of the nose. So now we're going to draw the eye. And so you start with just a little oval and then you can make it a little bigger. And then you can do this little line down and then another line down back here. And then, and then we're going to do a line right here above that. Okay, so we've got the snout, the eye. Okay, so right here, just right in between the nose and the edge of the, like the black part and this part, we're gonna draw up and then do a rip. That looks good. We're going for thicker lines here for this style. So that looks good. Okay. So next, let's go for the mouth. Okay. So there's this little line right here. And then we're going to do this curved line. And then it goes back and then it angles. And when you're under the eye, that's when you start going back up. Nice, yours looks even better than mine. Good job. Yeah, it does. Mm -hmm. And then you do little dots in there. And then right here, we're gonna meet it up and fill it in. And then this little spot, just do a little line right there. What? Okay, so fill that in and then do a little line up. Okay, so now we're gonna do the tongue. So his tongue is kind of curling and so we make a rainbow shape right there. And then another one right here. Don't, don't worry, just trust me. And then another one right here and down. And then bring it together. And then that line disappears back there. And then this line goes back and disappears back there. And then we just bring that line down and meet it up. Nice, that looks good. Okay, so then you wanna go kind of diagonal down under, under that part of the nose, you go diagonal 
down and back. And then we're gonna be, so I'm gonna show you over here, we're gonna be filling that in, this whole area. Except for you can leave some like indicators of where the teeth are, you don't have to. But it might look kind of cool to not have it just be like completely filled in. You can kind of do it like that. All right, yours is looking so good. Um, you might, oh, you forgot to do this line. Mm -hmm. So do a little line, bring it up, and I would fix up that nose that you kind of went a little haywire on. <laughs> Don't do marks like that, just do like steady lines. Mm -hmm. All right, cute, good job. Okay, so now we're gonna curve around this you can do like little hairlines in. And then don't go too far back. We're gonna about right here. We're gonna start going down. <laughs> Let me see. No, oh, that looks good, don't worry. You're just looking so cute. I love yours. Now, right here, we're also gonna be going down and out, and then back in, and then out again. And you can thicken up those lines, make them look nice and artistic. Cool, and then we've got an ear that kind of peeks out back here. I'll just do a little triangle shape right there. All right, so then right here, we're gonna do more of the golden's mane. Our golden didn't have quite as big of a mane as most goldens do. But he still had one. that line a little bit more like that and then right here we're gonna go for kind of a jaw hold on yeah so it starts right here and then goes over and you'll want like this side thicker nice okay so now we're gonna do the ear um, let's do the bottom part first. Okay, so you want the bottom of the ear like across from from the bottom of the throat, right, right here. Go diagonal across. And then you want it kind of to meet up near the chin, but not too close. So watch this. Okay. And then the ear is going to come out to this point. And so we're going to do we're going to do little furry marks leading out to that point.
Oh, you're finishing it? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you got ahead of me. Okay, so now I'm just gonna curve it over. And then you can just kind of play around with these lines. How are you liking it? It's so cute. Oh, I love yours. It looks a bit like a... Chester? Yeah. <laughs> so, mine looks like Thor, the dog we used to have. And Chester is the dog that we babysit sometimes, who's a golden lab. Oh, we miss him. Okay, so from this line, you skip just about an uh, half an inch and then you go down and just taper it off. And then right here, so diagonal under the ear, we're gonna make a cool little tuft of fur. And then you skip over to here and draw another cool line that tapers down. All right, and now we're gonna come up here and we're gonna do kind of a long S shape. So last line is right here. Now let's thicken it up in spots. Now, I don't know what kind of supplies you have at home or at school, wherever you're watching this, but if you've got golden colors or tan colors or like um, reddish brown tan colors, then that's what you're gonna need for coloring this. But use what you have. If you only have a light brown, or just brown and just color it lightly, that's fine too. So I usually like to start with my shadows. And so we've got some darker colors right here. So you hold it off to the side a little bit. So you hold it to the side and you try not to push down, you pr try to color on your on the side. Okay, and then I want to do some browns right here. And here. And some more around the eye. Okay, so do some darker right here next to this tuft. And 
then under the chin right here. See that? here and right along here And this will taper off. And then I think we'll probably want some right here, just right in the middle of here. Okay, one more spot, I just thought of right here. One more thing I think we should do some fur going that way. Okay. So now we might have to take turns with this tan because it's the best color for him. Don't you think? Mm -hmm. Let's hold it to the side. Okay. You don't like it? Okay. All right, I'll let you use the tan for that part that I just colored. Now I'm gonna try this more golden yellow with just light strokes. I'm gonna do it right here along the jaw. I think I'll add a few strokes here and there throughout the fur. When you're coloring, it's cool to combine colors. It helps. So there are different versions of golden retrievers. Like there are the golden golden retrievers. And then there's the blonde retrievers. They're still called golden retrievers. Um, ours was more blonde, our dog. And then there's the ones that have the red fur. They're so pretty, in my opinion. Color it really lightly because you're going to add some other colors in there too. So you don't want it to be too strong of a pink. You're going to start with pink and then add a little bit of this red, reddish brown, I mean. And then I think we should even add a little bit of this purplish brown. And some shadow. So just keep going over everything. 
giving it the tans and yellows and browns. Nice! Ooh, high five! That looks so good! We wanted to do a quick shout out to the kids over in Utah in Salina Elementary, the fourth graders. Thanks for drawing with us this week. We hope you've had fun drawing dogs with us. And uh, we're over on the coast of Oregon, so it's fun for us to get to draw with you. We hope you had fun drawing, and we will see you next time. <laughs> bye! Bye bye! Bye bye! Bye bye! bye. bye.